online video games here. Recording at 1080p, 60 frames, every 60 pictures in a second. What that means is every 300 seconds, whether you're aware of it or not, you're seeing your brain is seeing 300 pictures every 5 seconds, and every minute you're seeing 36,000 pictures. For this series, we go to other channels and I give my opinions and feedback. I give my opinion and feedback. Anything you would like to add, make a video response, write in the comments. What do you think about these channels? I would love to hear more opinions. Let's go to the iRig Gamer. Alright, so the iRig Gamer is a YouTube partner. Is it advertisements? Alright, there we go. Unfortunately, you can pause them. Anyways, on the top you can see his banner. It says iRig Entertainment, iRig the 80s, History of Video Games, the iRig Show. And hot investigations www.iridentertainment.com. I like the Ira Gamer Neo where he does the um, latest game reviews the best. And um, he's got a cool background. He has lights over here, which looks like this ch channel page is a stage. And his most viewed video has um over six million views and that's a Super Smash Brothers Brawl review from three years ago from the Ira Gamer. It's got the Ira Gamer links. He links his websites. A description and most viewed all time comedians. He doesn't show subscriber list, he doesn't show subscription list, he doesn't show his friend list, he doesn't show his recent activity list. Just websites, a description, and some of his videos. The channel's a bit plain, and I think the channels that show them, the friends, the subscribers, the subscriptions, the comment box, the recent activities, and the other channels, I think that those are more involved because they have a lot more networking going on. Because when people leave other comments on other people's page, it creates new links to new pages. For example, if he subscribed to a Plus for people, and if he was in somebody else's subscriber box, then they may click on his name and go to his channel page. Anyways, his videos are fantastic, he gives great reviews, and he keeps everything, he keeps his reviews simplified, so you pretty much get to know the core of the review pretty quickly. I mean, some reviewers like to go on and on and on, but the Ira Gamer, he pinpoints the main ideas, so you can get an idea of what the game is like pretty quickly. And he also covers E3, he's a great channel. And the 80s videos are interesting as well, where he raced Super Nintendo games and Nintendo games. I guess how often do people reviews those games these days? Especially the idea, which makes his videos great, is that he Usually he has a lot of special effects, so the video game characters come to life in the real world in addition to being in the video game. Well, I hope you guys love this video, and I'll see why you wouldn't, and um, be sure to check out my other videos to see more fantastic content. Thanks for watching, I'll see you guys later.